morning. Now, yes. look, 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 look. Let's let's get into who you are and what you've done and where you've been. Now, mm. you were on the panel on yes. one of the hottest web series around, and there's some mm. things cha changing over there, chasing reality. Um, tell me about that. What 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 was your part in that? Um, of course, you know, chasing. That's like you know, them, them people over there, great people. Them my people. Um. What I've been doing now is the Chasing Panel. If y'all know Scotty by Nature TV, shout out to Scotty and Jamar over there. They uh, put together a panel. Scotty put together a panel with some other uh, personalities all together so we can kind of review uh, Chasing and give, you know, honest opinions, funny opinions. You know how, you know, people with different personalities just mesh well together. Right. So we do all of them from Chasing Dallas, um, Chasing Atlanta, um, whenever Chelsea and L.A. come back. And I think they got another one, uh, I think Chasing... Uh, there's just something. It's the city of Florida. I want to say that they do. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, there was. The it was that they're doing now. Chasing Dallas is getting ready to start. That one's up. coming back, so we're actually gearing up to come back to do that one. Man, that so, cast yeah. is fitting to be off the first of I all. I can't wait. When they said Seven Deep, I'm like, okay, I'm there. I'm oh good. yeah, you know I'm I love done. Seven. Shout I'm out done. to Seven. I'm absolutely. done. Yeah, I love me some Seven, and so yep. um, hopefully we'll be able to get them in here in the studio at some yes, point. Yes, absolutely. Abs absolutely. Um, so. Out of all of the series, mm -hmm. don't let the girls beat you up, though. Of course. Which no, that is ain't your... never happened for me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite? Mm -hmm. mm. And I got a special place for Atlanta. Atlanta is my favorite one. Okay. Um, I'm actually getting a new love to what, for Dallas. Dallas used to be one I really didn't like so much, but... Mm. I look where Dallas has grown on me. And yeah, know you know, I wasn't with Dallas at yeah. first. No, no, sh no shade to the girls. Yeah, no I mean, no shade, shade to, to any no, of the cast no. members. But it, I was just, I, you know, you have a love for you where, where you live. Absolutely. Um. So you know, but now that I see that cast, I'm like, yeah. All right, Dallas, I see what y'all doing. To me, is. casting is very important, and I feel like Atlanta really does it right now. I feel like LA had a very nice cast too. I just feel like a lot of it was kind of like. A little confusing for me at first. It was kind of like all over the place. It's like, like boom. It just popped in there, and Absolutely. I didn't know what was going on. Absolutely. So I wasn't as into it, but I do love all the, like, personalities over there because they had a lot of huge, huge personalities with L.A. Um, Dallas, it's just like I feel like the, sometimes the casting just didn't go where I wanted to go, but they've been improving their casting so much that, and the storylines are getting more interesting. And I like a, a, a reality show that has a lot of variety to it. Like I love the drama, but yeah. I like to see the work. I like a balance. Exactly. You know, and that, most, most, that. most of those that. series that are out there, it's all about the rah rah, the right. drama. Let, okay, Which I love. <laughs> scene one, scene one, twenty seconds in. Yes. Let's flip the table. What? Come on, like hold on. Right. Are we working first? Yeah. Are we sitting down? Do we, let's you know set the scene. <laughs> The scene right before you flip the scene, right? So, you <laughs> table on the floor. I want to know why, that's right? All exactly, I know. exactly, right? So, let's go back to chasing Atlanta real quick because you know that's my people, of course. Period. Um, coming away from that that series, one of, one of my favorites is is Lil Kendra. Oh, of course, and I really felt like this this past season she wasn't as uh, uh, as much a part of it as as she probably should and could right. have been right. for a lot of different reasons. I know there was a lot of mental health going on and stuff right. like that, protecting herself. At least of that's course. at least that's how the edits turned out. Right. Um. Uh. Who was your favorite? Your outstanding? Who could you, if you want to? Who could have been like? Uh, why are you here? Like, oh, it's a couple of why you should. You know, why are you here? But, uh, <laughs> some of my favorites actually was um, Dominique. Shout out to Neek. I like okay. Neek. Of course, Oliver always does his thing to me. I the, feel the, like I, that's the, just Oliver, aka Nene. Yeah, go ahead, go basically, ahead. I just, he always <laughs> does his thing. Um, I always love God. Shout out to Willa. I love Willa. Yes, yes, I like her too. Um, um honestly. Uh, and even Rico Cassadine. I love okay. Rico. That's, that's my boo. You know, that's, that's my, my homie. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, Rico. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, just pretty much for those of me, but like some of the standouts for me. Um, of course, J.M. Moore. I love J.M. Yes. Moore. Yes. Um, and yeah, that was like, those would be my standouts for okay. me. So, the, some of the why you were here, No Shay Seven should have sat down for this mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I love We Were Born, but yeah, they could have set out this season. You know what I feel like? Yeah, and, and, and they're so talented. Very talented, because like, we play them here on the station, right. so there's no shade to their talent. But I just felt like in that moment, they needed to be seen mm -hmm. and validated. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. think they weren't receiving that, and they didn't know how to ask for that. Right. I think they were trying to make moments instead of just saying, hey, I need to be seen. Absolutely. I don't feel like you guys see me. I, feel, I don't feel like you guys... Um, 
are understanding me, maybe. But see, a little secret reality TV. When, uh-huh. when you get on these shows, the producers basically can only produce what you're putting out there. Oh. So you pay, you are the creator of your scenes. Um, there may be some scenes that you may be required to come to. But basically, all the content that's provided and given, you come up with on your own. Oh. Now, you there may be some things that the producer may say, hey, you know, in order for the storyline to make sense, you might not, you might have to bring this up. You might have to bring this up. And that's cool. How you bring it up and how you do it is all on you. So anything that didn't come out the way it needed to come out, you can only, and no, no shade, you can only burn the, the person for that. So you can't, people, you, you can't blame it on the You edit. can't blame it on the producer. <laughs> you can't. Whatever you gave them is what they got. And well, that's just what it is. And, and, that's, and sometimes that's, how, that's exactly how and it is. If you want to be seen, you just got to figure out how, like me, if I go, when I go into a reality situation, it's like, okay. I know people are going to see this. What do I need to put out there right. so they can see me? Right. right that is right. all about promotion. These reality shows are strictly to promote whatever art you're in. That's what it's for. You need to figure out the best way to get that out there, but still be in a mess because you got to be an interesting character. People think that just because you're talented and you do things, you can be on these reality shows, and that's all you need to do. And it's more than that. Absolutely. You have to actually be. A, you have to be. A, you have to have a personality built for reality TV. You can't just be there like, oh, hey, I do this, I do that. That's great. But me, I like me. I have a, I have a personality for TV. You see, so, but y'all didn't know y'all were going to get a, a, a master class. Come on now. I'm going to y'all a class on how you do this around <laughs> here. Like, you can't just show up and be like, hey, I'm doing work, and everything is supposed to do it for itself. I mean, if you want to do that, then you need to get some, a team of about 20, 30 people to make, make you look how you need to look. But it, already, you got to come ready. If you ain't come ready, you don't, don't come here. Right. All like, that's, that's you, all you, you, get, you get what you get. You now, get you get. you've had some experience being on a web series. How was that for you? And when you walked in the door, mm-hmm. Did you, was it everything that you thought it was going to be? And if it was, what was it? And if it wasn't, what wasn't it? it okay. What wasn't it? Um, reality TV for me is, I mean, reality TV is, for me is reality. Because me, you're going to get the same person on camera that you get off camera. Uh-huh. It's the same person. So me, I just literally show up and do. If I'm showing up for reality TV, it's like, um, it's certain scenes that they have. So like that you have, you like mandatory, like, hey, we need these kind of cast members to show up to these scenes. Cool. But for the most part, they gave me pretty much free range to do what I wanted to do. So what I do is I have a, a host of things that I'm doing already anyway. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing. Here's the schedule, the days, the time. You can show up to whatever you want to show up to. And uh-huh. if you need a cast member to show, tell me what cast member is going to be there. We can talk about whatever. But this is work that I'm already doing. I don't need to make up any scenes for anything. And it, w- it went pretty well for me. Like when I, when I got on my reality show, my album was already out. I had already made a name for myself in the acting world. I really didn't need to do nothing but promote myself. So that's all you got was like shows, events, and that's what I was doing. That's just what what happens with reality TV. And I feel like it was exactly what it needed to do for me. It um, it was exactly what I expected. Um, yeah, nothing was nothing was out of order for me. Nothing. I I made it to what I wanted it to be. So, so you you, you walked earlier. in the you walked in the door kicking and saying I'm here. Right. Yes. Then right. I had shout out to my um, my best friend that passed away. She wanted to help me get on you know things deals and stuff that worked out on the show. But uh, yeah, D Rashawn, we we worked hand in hand to be like, hey, this is what we need to show. This is what we need to do. I called them there to have fun. Reality TV is just like work. It's like a stuff that I'm already doing. And oh my God, you provided the cameras for me. Oh wait, nice. <laughs> I love that. So now the cameras here. I'm gonna do what I was gonna already do anyway. Thank you so much for this free promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, K Star is in the building. The What's personality. Up? I, I can I, I had to close the door to try to contain some of this personality Listen, this morning. Uh, you know I'm loud. It's 8 a.m. and I am loud, Joel. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Now speaking of, you said you walked in there with your music. You walked in there already with a with with your package mm-hmm. in package hand. Package deal. You already know. So music. Music is more your bag than the reality series oh, is. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, what happened was, like, me, I, anything entertainment is me. Uh-huh. So I like acting. I like music, hosting, everything. But the reason why I went with music, everybody's like, well, you've been to this music thing for a while. Because the the return from the, the, the cash flow was better than I was getting everywhere else. See. So with the money that was coming in from it, from, you know, paid shows, streams, um, purchase of albums, um, yeah. Yeah. Hosting okay. gigs, a lot of things I got with the music that was like, well, maybe I could do that. And I'm not even actually exactly where I want to be at, and it's pretty nice. So I was like, oh, well, that's the case. I might as well stay over here. And then I have the free range to do what I want to do. I write my own music. Okay. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get that. Yeah, it's your pen. So, yeah, so I get to do what I want to do. So I can talk about what I want to do, say what I want to say, and perform what I want to. I can say yay or nay. I can host what I want to. Yeah. 
I like that better. So I've been in that bag for a minute. Well, let's talk about your music because there's a song that I liked. You know, yes. <clears throat> you know, I, 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 I'm a man of a certain age, but I still love to be Come ratchet. On. I, I, I love Ratchet. Come I do. On. I do. I do love to, mm-hmm. I do love to be Ratchet. Mm-hmm. And there's a song, Bounce That Ass. Oh, let's bounce it. So tell me <laughs> about that song. What was your pen? What was your moment? Um, what was the what was the motivation behind now it? Now, this one is just basically like Bounce That Ass is just like it's a clubby vibe. So it's kind of like you're in the club. You're talking your thing. Um, that's what happens. Like, you just go in the club, and it's kind of like you see somebody, and like, hey, I'm the baddest <laughs> thing walking in this thing right now. And I need everybody to understand that I can take your man. Oop. Your man wants me, Oop. which is usually the case. Oop. And that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into his music. Ladies Let's and gentlemen, do it. you heard about it. I'll let you introduce the song for us, K-Star. Go on, do that. All right, everybody. This is K-Star, Bounce That Ass, off my first EP entitled Rockstar. That's on all streaming platforms. Y'all get into this. Bounce That Ass. Don't miss a beat. Download the iHeartRadio app so you can listen to us on the app. Just look up WERU Radio, all one word. And you can download the We Are You Radio app itself in your device's store. Simply look up WERU Radio, all one word, and then find the rainbow snapping fingers 